we didn't record all of that because that was like primo uh, audio material. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna yeah, forget. That. That. We're gonna forget oh, that ever happened. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna remember it forever. I used to say, dear audience, our hit points are correct. We're pretty yes. sure. <laughs> we... What's up, YouTube? Would you like to hear some teeth clenching? <laughs> I'm just guessing. We there's all some have of, a some hit point. Have Thirty-four value. hit points. Some of you have seventy hit points. <laughs> I'm guessing your hit points are all over the fucking place. So... Try to King of Dungeons is crap, and we're going back to Pathfinder. You so take Gargle, your first level still... hit points. Pi R squared. Where are the hit points? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so each one of these goes up by one, but each one of these does not, correct? <laughs> no, each one of these goes up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, each defense goes up by one is what I assume you're asking, which is what I did, and I hope that's right. Okay. Because that that's math, right? That's like each. if they yeah. if it's the, the average all of those defenses four. clearly just go up by one. Okay. Yeah, because they he's got like a calculation for it, but it always has to be one. But how do you calculate the, the, the defenses again? Is there God, you know what? No, fuck it. Nope. I go up just by one, one. whatever it was. Each of them do go up by one. <laughs> yep. That's it. <laughs> yep. That's all right. it. Well, and fuck that's all game. the time fuck we have. Game. It's been a great night. It's been a great night. Thank you so much, Craig. <laughs> and uh God, Craig came, showed up. That was great. Use the middle of your oh my god. Okay, yeah. Let's just let's just go. Let's, Please. Let's play a game. We need to stab some more stuff in the eye, basically. I know we haven't seen it yet, but we're ready. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it, as Calm pointed out, like this is sort of kind of still in beta in a lot of ways. And that's, mm -hmm. I think it's a part of the charm a little bit. Great new round. Oh, yeah, I like to oh, yeah. about it too. We have to have these kinds of fights or else <laughs> dozens of people across America. Dozens. I mean, yeah, dozens is, that's really quite generous. He's optimistic. Handfuls. Yeah. Handfuls of people across. Handfuls. handfuls big stupid handful <laughs> who who accidentally stumble across the uh audio of this who are three people <laughs> <laughs> would you guys like some brent hair news then, got brent hair news yeah, yeah. well becky told me about how to do a half ponytail now because now that i it's officially i have not caught my hair in a year um yeah like at all a whole last oh. year um so I can actually put it up in a ponytail and stuff. That's a lot of fun. You sound so excited about that, I am that, excited. Becky. I've got a ponytail boyfriend. This is great. <laughs> I want top nuts. No, I'm stoked. Oh. He got it. He got the idea from an anime character. And I was like, yeah, buddy, your eyes can be that open. <laughs> so he's he's living the gospel of the bang of the uh, half, half up, half down right now. And uh, if my hair wasn't so long, I'd be doing the same thing because it's. It's a good and an efficient style. I'm telling you, Ken, you have to try it. Oh, you No, you do not want me to try that. <laughs> year long beard if his hand didn't slip that one night. Which no one wants me to have a year long beard. I, I was digging the I was digging the what did you get to? Eight months? Got pretty far. I think you got into September. Yeah. God, please tell me that calms back. No, I back. think I heard him settle in. Okay. <laughs> we can keep we can keep talking about your beard. <laughs> No, he loves all this attention on him. Even though I started it. <laughs> I recognize my folly. I'm really excited to hear this part of the episode. I'm sure this won't get edited out at all. <laughs> okay, so you got to this uh you got to this cave and uh one of you uh put the black stone, the fist shaped, the trident shaped stone into it and it uh slid away and a secret entrance opened up and you found yourselves at the entrance to a large 20 by 20 foot cave entrance a fate foul draft issues forth from the cave opening blood red strata intertwined with bulging black veins of rock running through the hewn walls beyond the entrance mm. as you go through you find yourselves in a wide it's a bong north south corridor with a smooth polished floor and all is deathly still the stillness imparts a dim awareness of dread as your very footsteps echo in these vaulted halls. A faint groaning sound and shrill piping can occasionally be heard from deep within the cave. Ed Count, do we have, um, I, I'm, I'm just trying to recall, do we have any, any hirelings with us anymore? I know that we got uh, rid of Didi, the... Uh, Didi Raven is in have, company yep. armed with uh, your bow and arrows. Mm -hmm. That's right. That you kindly loaned to 
Maynard. With many, our, many stip Brother points. Maynard turned out to be a traitor. Which Brother holy, Alphonse? Yeah. So fucking fuck with that. Yeah, him. I've had, turned out to be a traitor. Dope as shit. <clears throat> yeah, not for long he wasn't though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was he had he had some he had some awesome stuff written for him. That was mm. tragically cut short by <laughs> you fuckers and your dice rolling. Was... Slithers that turned him into a fine paste. Pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. It's just like <laughs> I recall <laughs> somebody. I recall somebody rolling some obscene magical spell that caused all. No, that wasn't me. Fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that was that's my. What it was. Well, was it yeah. your color it was. spray? It was a very bad color spray. Spray. That's what it was. Yeah, super color spray. So and then and then uh, somebody discovered a secret bonus that they could use. <laughs> Once per game or some such thing, <laughs> which completely, yeah, that went south fast. I should have, I should have just had him run. <laughs> but however, <laughs> you make your choices and your faces your consequences. Mm-hmm. That's, That's all right. What Damon, That's what Damon always says. Even if you're the Even GM. You're the GM. <laughs> Especially, I feel. Anyway, uh, uh, if Andrew looks down into the dark depths, he checks over his glaive briefly to make sure that it, it's. Uh, its blade is still sharp. He looks to the rest of the group and says, "Onward!" and intrepidly leads the team down into the depths. Dun, 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 dun. And which direction do you think you guys are going to go here? Do you uh, go north or south? Um, to the north, um, through. I mean, the 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 cavern is lit with um, flickering torches, as per usual. It also has a a the rocks themselves have a kind of faint um, aura about them too that generates a dim light and far to the north about 60 70 feet ahead you can um, make out the shape of what appear to be a doorway and then um, to the south of you the cavern goes about another 50 feet or so and then just disappears into darkness it's imperceptible as to which which direction it's coming from you can hear um, uh, shuffling, just slow shuffling of feet. 420 blaze it, by the, by the way. Um. <laughs> oh, because it kind of shaped a little bit like a bong? Yeah, maybe. a lot like a bong. Okay. Like a lot like, like a, a bong. bong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bong I will point out that I did not deliberately make this cave Roger that, look I'm like on a it. bong. I will admit, however, <laughs> that it does look like a bong. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Can't confirm. What do you think, team? Uh, Always go left, so go south. Sure. Yeah. Although that does slope downwards. Yes. Okay. South. I mean, sounds like south is the consensus by south. It's right ahead of us. Yep. Well, I mean, I mean, we did want to generally be trending upwards, didn't we? Well, we're higher. I think the sure. outside is higher than we were already. So I guess I don't know. I don't know if I'd expect him to be upstairs or downstairs inside the cave. I could. I could see an argument for either, okay. really. Uh, actually, Bodhi's, Bodhi's thought there is pretty compelling. Um, yeah. Sure, let's try So it. let's head north instead. Okay. Yeah, Becky, we're heading okay. north. I'm not going to... I'm just saying your husband picked my decision over yours. Oh, wow. Trust me, it was worth it to hold my breath rather than waste it on making a smart remark about going north <laughs> instead of south. <laughs> <laughs> Highly worth it. Thank uh, you very much. I love you guys. Okay, we go north. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still trying to figure out what would have happened if uh, after Lefandriel said onwards, we all just sort of looked at each other and shrugged and went back out of the cave and let him go. <laughs> really, my knee kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll vote for north. Okay. Well, all of your uh, chattering, chattering yeah. and laughing, unfortunately, has uh, appeared to attract attention. And as you look to the north through the dimly lit passageway, um, you see four shuffling figures emerge out of the gloom towards you. And you see four ghastly zombie guards clad in filthy red and black striped uniforms wielding rusted cleaver-like battle axes shuffling slowly towards you. Not shuffling slowly! <laughs> Lefandriel says, okay, well, that makes the decision for us, I suppose. Oh my god, if they start shambling, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it. Ready weapons? Uh... 
the first two zombies begin shambling. I don't have my dice. Hold on a minute. I realized I didn't have them with me. Sorry. Back one second. Oh my god. Yeah, my fucking dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm not using Dice Maiden. Yeah, I'm dice using, Maiden is a cruel maiden. Yeah, I'm using the Dice Santi Cloth Prog. Ooh. I suppose I could use oh, the got dice got column. Mm. At least. Da, da, da. Sparkly orange one. What I do hope will make ceremony is the uh, repetition of which modifier goes on which round of combat. It's for first round. It's uh. Yeah. It's Dom. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're going. We're going straight for uh. We're going straight for combat here. We're not going to try and uh, negotiate or sweet with talk. Or, sweet with talk. Our way. Oh heck no! I mean, crack my knuckles pretty loud. And I will admit, I assumed. That uh-huh. they are uh, are not. No, they're not. Re- just, oh, okay, okay. Just being annoying. Uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> so, um, British. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. Uh, I'm just unprepared. Nonsense. I'm projecting. Okay, so what we got? So this yeah. is only zombies. We're here. Mm. We're here and here. Yep. Four zambops. Four of them. Well, that's not no. enough to get too upset about. We're level you two. Are- you are, rolling, you are rolling initiative on wisdom. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I can make us a little nursery rhyme for like, for like, to remember the order, you know? Because it's wisdom, dexterity, constitution, right? Yeah. Less talking, more killing. It's a big cave. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I think that's everybody. Yay! Someone goes after me. See, Rob, you're being scorned for using Dice Maiden. She doesn't want to work tonight. <laughs> Seven. Eh. I'll take it. Could be worse. Ah, let's see his slithers. Oh, no. that. Well done, Lymantok is seven. Seven. He's the wait and see kind of guy. Yes. I'm serving the situation. Yes. 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 No. First, yes. 22. Jeez. Okay. Okay, uh, Gargle. Gargle is up. Speaking of cracky wise, I'm gonna throw a javelin in the face of one of those Javelin of faith? Zombies. Oh, yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta roll a chaos die for them, too. Let's see. Ooh! I mean, this chaos die is gonna go to somebody else. All right. Okay. All right. So, this is an attack versus the reflex of them zombies. I got a 17. That it. Yes, of course. And they will take. Nine points of damage. All right. Anything else you can do, Gargle? Or no? Slithers oh, is up. Fine. Slithers pulls his scimitar from his Slithers. Purpose. Would you Slithers. like a Would you like a nineteen to hit? I'll take that nineteen. It's yours. Oh, nice. Why? Thank you. All right. I have a nineteen to hit. Plus whatever your bonus is. Plus whatever my bonus. What, what the hell is that? It's as if you rolled. It's as whatever. It's as if you rolled a nineteen on your d twenty. It hits. 19 on my D20 and I'm sorry. It hits. You don't even what? need to roll. It hits. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So now I'm yes. rolling for damage. First of all, are you uh, hitting the same one Gargle did or are you going for another one? No, nope, I'm going for a different one. All right. Um, oh, God damn it. What, what is it? It's it's a 1D6 plus what, strength modifier again. Oh, okay. So 1D6 plus 6. Um, and I got a 2 plus 6 is 8. That makes a nice contact into just the uh, midriff of a zombie, and it just hits it like a dry piece of leather. And as you as you <laughs> put your foot up against it and kick it off your scimitar again, just a bunch of black dust oozes out of it onto the floor. Yeah, but it Gross. keeps coming. Uh, so I will target the one that Gargle targeted. With oh, actually, uh, boo, 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 another... boo, boo. what did you say your 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 damage was? What did you roll for your damage? You rolled two. two. Plus strength. Plus, yeah, but plus you strength. are a second level character now, so it's two d six plus oh. your strength. Oh. So, yes. Is it really? So we have to do a re- we have to do a rewind here. Right. Damage is character level x d six plus strength. Hmm. Okay, so two two d six plus six is what I'm looking for. Okay, two that's seven plus six 13. is thirteen. Okay, same same thing. We're also going to rewind back to um, gargle. What did you roll? Will we just double it? Well, 
I don't think that applies to me because I used a spell, and the spell has a certain amount of damage per circle of the level of the spell. And so I... It's says a first number. level spell, so I only get the 1d6 still. Okay, okay. it says right. for a cast, it says damage is character level XD. Well, it might depend on the spell, but this one yeah. very specifically says 1d6 plus wisdom, and then a second circle, 3d6, third circle, 66, and so on. This is still okay. a first circle spell for me. Fair enough. All right. Uh, Bodhi is then up. Knowing that, I will target the one that uh, Slither's targeted, Good the more choice. damaged one. It is bloodied, even though it has no blood. With a uh, throwing dagger. So that's a d20 so, plus your dex. Yep, 18. And that's a, a even natural roll, so I'll get to add my uh, extra damage, my okay. uh, filthy attack. So that's everything is, yeah, is d6, right? 2d6 plus your dex. Yep. 2d6 plus 6 for my filthy attack. Ugh. Growth. <laughs> oh, 12, 12 damage. damage. The uh, second zombie yep. explodes in a shower of black ash. Okay, and real quick, before my turn ends, I would like to uh, use my lethal hunter on one of the unarmed or uninjured mm-hmm. zombies. And that, uh, from now on, my crit range against that oh. foe expands oh. by two for the rest of combat. All right. Bodie's got a favorite. All right. It's Kukri o'clock. So, um, we'll just theater of the mind, whichever one's closest. I'm going to run toward blade of foot. Okay. And so you don't add anything to the attack roll. D20 plus your strength. Taking me all the way up to a cool 11. And it hits. <gasps> it does hit. Does it ever? Uh, yes. Okay. And your damage is, uh... 2d6 plus your strength. That I got. Oh, I'm choosing my weapons. Okay. All right. I have my 2d6. I'm feeling the power. Uh, nine. Nine in total. Okay. That mm-hmm. is a good hit. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> All right. And uh, Lefandriel is up. Uh, can I get a status check on the zombies? One zombie that is very bloodied, as a zombie can be, and uh, two that are fighting fit in tip-top shape okay you know what if i'm actually going to do it in the meta space i'm going to go ahead and do it in the game as well i'm going to weigh my odds and get some command points so i'm going to roll a d4 and then add my charisma so that's going to be one plus five is six command points i'm now up to seven command points and i think i can even issue uh nope i have to remember how to do that okay that's gonna be my turn i think that uh lefandriel lowers his glaive to like you know a kind of a fighting stance but is like kind of taking a look at like the battlefield and just kind of getting a sense of the rhythm of what's going on here nice so okay. make it my turn right yep um it it is the uh turn of the zombies oh so um zombie Not one um swings its axe at slithers and that is a 20 does that hit actually that's not true that's an 18 does that hit it's against Um, your uh fortitude nope so it does not hit damn wow it like a holy crap bangs on it bangs against your armor but uh bounces harmlessly away Okay, um, zombie two is uh, going to give uh, Bodhi a go here. Oof, that's a 15 to hit. Yeah, I bet that it misses. Does. And then zombie three shuffles over towards uh, Gargle. Oof, that's a not 20. That is a tw- that is a 24. That's a... That is, that is a 24, and that is going to do eight slashing damage. What? Disagree. No, that was Gargle. Did I say Gargle? Was, oh, I meant Gargle. You guys have yeah. such a strange name. It's too late. It doesn't matter. It's Gargle. It sticks. <laughs> Fine. Damon, our plan is working perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now now um, uh, Lymantox up. 
All right. Uh, we're going to fire up an old-fashioned color spray. So first, I'm going to see how many targets I target. That'll be four, so yeah. all three of them. And that is int roll versus will. So I'm rolling my intelligence. Oof. Rolling an eight the old-fashioned way. So an eight damage? Um. Nope. No, 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 no. That's that's to hit against their will. Uh, at three. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't feel good about my chances there. I'm going to use my oh, moment of oh, glory. Oh, against, against their will. You don't need three. to add anything. There's oh, zombies, okay. man. Yeah, that okay. is. That is. There's. There's oh, zombies. they have no will. Well, they've got oh, some oh, okay. will. Very yeah, little will. Point. Okay, so it's just the straight up two d eight damage. Ocho. So eight each. I'm not using my superpower to boost it. Or okay. Well, the bloody it. zombie explodes in a cloud of ash. And the other two uh, stumble backwards from the uh, impact of the whatever the hell a color spray does. Sprays them okay, off good. Uh, wow. round, round two is a uh, d20 plus dexterity. Hey. And the escalation die has been turned. Do we add escalation to initiative? I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? No, uh, no, it yeah. just goes to your effect. Right, I mean, it doesn't. Cause, yeah. Okay, so... Ten... Yep. Super helpful, Brian. Leaf roll, leaf, leaf roll, leaf. Leaf roll. <laughs> Ouch. What's your dexterity? Uh, an eight. Okay. Is all told. Woof. And then suddenly everyone found spaghetti in their shoes. Well, this is spaghetti, though. Like yeah, I'm spaghetti. supposed to go first. <laughs> I'm the rogue. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, I got this right. Bodhi 19, Gargle 15. Arkle eight, Slithers twenty four, Lymantok ten, and Leaf eleven. That is mm -hmm. correct. Sounds right to me. Okay, and uh, Slith Slithers is up. Slithers is going to beat the hell out of one of those zombies okay. with his scimitar. Yeah, yeah here we go. And twenty plus strength. Okay, seventeen plus six is yeah, it's 23. twenty three because you got the es escalation die going. So. Ah, uh, the escalation. Yep, well, well, that totally hits. Yep. Did I do I pulverize it? I don't know. How much damage are you going to do? So well, we'll see about that, won't we? Plus your strength. Okay, two d six. Unfortunately, is a three plus six, which is a nine. nine. That does a it does a hefty amount of damage. Your your scimitar cleaves through the shoulder of the zombie and takes off um, like a. A third of its upper torso. I'd like to um I, okay, I'd like to me... use two of my uh, oh sorry, I was just you... gonna... Yep, I'd like to use three of my command points. So uh go ahead and add my charisma to that damage. So that's another five. Woo! Five Thank or you. six. What am I what is my charisma like these days? That's gonna be a six, I apologize. Okay, well that, that uh that zombie is massively messed up. Wow, interesting. Okay. Very um after uh, you cleave off like a third of its torso another another third of its torso spills spills out onto the floor so it's its upper body is just a kind of a flimsy empty leather case just flopping around flopping around on a pair of legs <laughs> and yet and yet it's somehow, oh, still, blown away by somehow, somehow nice. still uh, managing to wield uh, an axe Okay, but um, okay. No, there were, uh, wait, wait a minute. I, I guess I can't really use a any hit with a natural sixteen plus. That was a seventeen uh, when I hit it uh, with my precision attack. I gain a bonus to damage equal to my dexterity, which is five. Sweet. And then it collapses lifelessly. <laughs> wow! All right, high five, everybody. Game of like. <laughs> that was great. I mean, how close well is done. it? Why don't I go and use this? That'll that'll. Make it go away, right? No? Okay. How about this oh, bit? Hold on one sec. <laughs> the uh, lifeless pair of legs rise from the floor again. <laughs> My god. And, oh, it, and the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, it's one good arm. It picks up its axe again and continues to shuffle towards you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Fucking so we've got like a disembodied arm and yes. legs? <laughs> Okay. Well, I have advantage. It's still, it's still, it. it's still, it's still hanging on by its. It the arm is attached by the skin, by the leathery skin. Don't <sighs> I don't need use your imagination. <laughs> this shouldn't be ambulatory. <laughs> well, I mean that's kind of the nature I mean, of the undead. Right. Fair. 
<laughs> like Bode, Bode is up, and I I kept your uh, I kept your special zombie for you. So good, thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, send a little love letter over to my special friend in the uh, form of a dagger. Uh, so. Many plus dex. Plus dex plus yep. one for that's the. Uh, it helps when I actually tell the dice man to do it. Oh, very nice. So that's yep. a twenty to hit. Two d six plus six plus one. No, the escalation is dice correct? just for the two hit. It's not for the damage. Mm-hmm. It's just a hit. Okay, not for damage. Okay. Oh, eight damage. All that's right. all I've got. Well, the dagger makes its mark. The zombie stumbles backwards and then starts shuffling forwards again. Mm-hmm. Uh, who we got? Uh, we have Gargle. All right. So I have a zombie in my face, um, is that right? Um, yes. You have one coming, bearing okay. down on you. Well, in that case, I'm going to have to hit it in the face with my touch with spiky bits hammered in. For Yarg Sarag! Oh, dear. I don't think I'm going to hit. Let's see. The bonus on that. Well, unless a Do nine you, hits. including the one for the escalation die? Unless a 10 hits. <laughs> Let's make that a 13. I'm going to use my moment of glory dice to make that a 13. Unless a 13 hits. Your my cudgel! Uh, 13. With, with all uh, the spiky the, bits. Uh, it bounces harmlessly. Oh. It bounces harmlessly off off the leathery skin of the zombie. Says, I'm also going to take a uh, recovery. Okay. For free. Do you, oh so yeah, you do know, you guys, I you took guys some have damage um, last time. healing potions, I assume, do you? I think it's generally assumed you carry a couple in this, but you have to yeah, watch out for Yeah, you do normally, but um, you can you can use a, a healing potion if you want, Damon. Uh, along with your I, along with your recovery, it would give you a, a plus 1d8 recovery. I don't okay. need it that badly. I'll keep mm-hmm. the potion. Alright. Thank you, though. Uh, do we need to wait for your recovery, or shall I just move on? Do you want me to tell you why? But no, I got five hit points. Back. I assume you're keeping track so. of them. So, okay, Lymantok is up. All right, I'm going to fire up a new spell I've added in my repertoire. Bring up this will be a Ray of Frost, yeah. and at will spell. I'll target the healthiest okay, looking zombie, and its intelligence gets okay. Well, the least unhealthy. Uh, Twenty plus six. This is against its reflexes. Fuck now. For yep. Eleven. Okay, I'm I'm pretty close to going over well, and picking up dice hits, now. So. Yep. Oh, because they're slow ass zombies. <laughs> but it's three d six <laughs> for eleven damage. Yeah, it's uh the the zombie is completely frozen and then just shatters into a a million <laughs> particles. He's frozen and he can't shake that off. Oh no, wait, it's let it go. I get those two songs confused. Never mind. <laughs> he can't let it go. Did I skip you, Lefandriel? I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, um, I did. You at 11. Lamontok had 10. You should have. You, it's you. Sorry. All right. That's okay. He was just going to yeah. observe. Uh, <laughs> open it out. Check in the vibe. Not so much, actually. I am going to, I'm going to attack the... Um, There's only one remaining zombie, and it is in very bad shape. In fact, it's not even a zombie. It's a... It's a walking, it's a leg, uh, right? Floppy leather bag with legs. Yeah. Yeah. And so on that one, I, I have advantage on it since uh, since Slither set me up. So I'm going to attack it with my glaive. Like. Yep. Hey, so that's going. If this was the 1970s and it was a practical special effect, it would look awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been meaning to watch so, this. Thing. This I isn't going to work crawl. out. This is going to work out okay, but I got a well. So, Does that include that include your plus one for the, that uh, escalation? the escalation? Yep. Um. And sorry, what were you attacking with? My glaive. The slashing uh, that, weapon. Um. It does manage to uh, disarm the the uh, the zombie and take off its remaining arm, but uh, it is still standing. The two legs, <laughs> the bag are still standing. Uh, yeah, fuck it. At this point. Okay. It just it just you disarmed no, it. It, it, it just it just it? falls over. Okay, it, thank it, you. It, now can we we can pretty much just it yeah, it's, right. yeah, it's just a pair of legs <laughs> walking, shuffling aimlessly down the corridor past you. It didn't have very many hit points to give you. 
Yeah, I mean, I was I was about to make um, I was I was about to basically burn the rest of my command points and just say, "Hey, uh, Slithers, why don't you try again with advantage right now?" I think. <sighs> Well, you can if you if you can if you want, but if you if you if you if you want if you miss if you miss a pair of legs, you're never gonna leave it. There. You're never gonna live it down. So, yeah, uh, Slithers, try again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I, I can. Okay. I can you know what? You know, have I, have I don't want to save rolling? it for something better. Oh wait, no. Ta- yeah, yeah, tactical strike. I I I have to save in order to get that back. So I am gonna not do that. I'm I'm sorry. I. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that I'm happy sense. to do it if you want to, there, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I did. I did not mean to. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think we can let the stiff breeze take this one over. Did we? Did I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not clear. Did we? Did he kill it because it was so close to death, or did he miss? And it's unbelievable that it's still standing. He missed, but um, he okay. just he just barely missed it. So I just had to uh, yeah. disarm okay. it and make it harmless because I mean, okay. It's it's a pair of legs. It's yeah. It ceased, it ceased <laughs> to amuse me. It's it's getting I'm going boring. to. We'll move it on. <laughs> let's let's tie a rope to it and make it like walk out <laughs> in front of us. Yeah. <sighs> and if it's not, if it doesn't go the right way, we can put it in the wheelbarrow. Okay. You know what? <laughs> well, I'm just you saying. So, so me, it... You know. You know what, Bodie? <laughs> give me a give me a dexterity roll. So that's just a yeah. d20 plus my dex, plus we're still in combat, uh, so plus sure. one. I mean, <laughs> this I feel like this is pretty escalated. Well, technically, this would be the next round. If I'm going again, so it would be plus two. Yeah. Just, just, no. Just. Roll the clicky clacks. Roll the clicky clacks. Okay, clack. yes, it succeeds. Okay, you may tie a rope around it. <laughs> but if, if we push it in a certain direction, will it just kind of walk out in front of us at the end of the rope, or what does it try to do when we? Yes, it will. Well, it's got it's 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 got no eyes. It's got no sense of direction. It's a pair of it's a pair of legs, a pair of animated legs <laughs> with a Can... flopping, empty leather torso that is completely bereft of any bone just... or innards of any kind. Can we just oh, coup de gras this yeah, thing gonna... and move on? <laughs> I'm gonna to try to push it and just get it get it walking twenty feet out in front of us on on the end of this rope. Okay. All right. So you keep wandering northwards um, through the uh, cavern, and you come to an uh, intersection, which slopes downwards to the west of you, and then north of you, in front of you, there is a there is a large wooden door, and then behind you to the east. There is a another large wooden door. Okay. Do the doors look generic wooden yes. similar or none of them look no. like special or okay. Door to the east, um, anybody? Does that sound good? Sure. Does anybody oh, have like doors? A, does anybody have like a tracking skill and we can see if like there's been traffic in and out of either door in particular? I do. Like a, a dragged Ooh. kidnap victim. A goblin or something? would be pretty good at that. Well, I don't have any expertise chosen right now, so you may as well. Uh, oh, yeah, that sounds good. Slithers the sniffer. Slithers the sniffer. It's his reptilian, lizardy tongue that sits yeah, the smell yeah. and all that. Slithers kind of like it goes to the ground or something. Just like goes. Got the vomero nasal organs. You're, yeah. You you guys are totally the uh, aliens from V. Oh yeah. But but everybody loves That's us. True. But everybody loves you. Right. It is known. It is. Known. It is known. Okay, so am I uh, rolling anything with this expertise, or is it just a given that I'm awesome? <laughs> no, you you are rolling. What am I rolling? Uh, I've never done expertise it is a rolls plus before. four. You're at a, it's a plus. It's a whatever. It's a d twenty plus your wisdom. Your wisdom yes. for tracking. Or? So you're gonna run d right, twenty plus a wisdom. Plus wisdom. And then you're gonna also roll a d4. Oh, okay, that's so the expertise, d- right? All right, so d20 plus wisdom. Oh, that sucks. It's a that's a four plus two, so that's a six. Um, and then when I'm rolling a, a d4, four. yeah. All right, three. Um, yeah, you notice that the um, just the the floor of the cavern in general looks well trodden. In all directions. No. 
that yeah that a good me. thought yeah sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> you tried yeah yeah <laughs> yeah let's east start or, with east buddy do you want to give it a listen i suppose i could yeah i am going to go up and press my ear to the door uh you hear you hear nothing beyond it i hear nothing beyond okay. it i will try to uh uh open the door slowly the door opens um with ease it opens up into a uh, staircase of stone steps descending downwards. I'm going to uh, slowly close the door and tell everybody that these stairs go down. Do we want to see if the door to the north keeps going yes. up? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm going to close that door and I'm going to give the door to the north the same. You're treatment. going to. You're going to listen. I'm going to listen and. Yeah, what do I what do I hear when I listen? As you listen, you can discern some um faint mumbling and um chanting. Ooh. Um okay, I will I will relay that. Do I get a sense of how many voices? Can I make it a It sounds like um more it sounds like a sounds like a small group of people. Okay. I'll say that. I'll say uh 3 5 7, I don't know. Um, uh, it sounds like less than you guys. Sounds like less than us. Uh, in that case, uh, uh, do we just want to go in hard and fast? Yeah. Some lunch money. Forgot. We forgot. We forgot. That's we that's forgot the way I like to go in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. She could have. She could have short well, that last combat. <laughs> she can help us out this time. Um, send the pair of legs into the room first. <laughs> yeah. I say, I say, guys, stand back. Get ready. They're going to come running out after this pair of legs. Absolutely. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of everybody else is going to back up down the hallway just a little bit, just out of sight line. I'm going to stand uh, with my back to the wall, and I'm going to open the door, and I'm going to push the pair of legs in. Okay. Until I hear them, until I hear them acknowledge that there are a pair of legs, and then I'm going to reel the legs back out really quick, and anticipate that they're just going to run right into us, and we can slaughter them here in the hallway. Okay, so you're not going to look into the room at all. You're just going to because it's fucking vaudeville. You're going to blindly let the uh, legs go in. Yep. Okay, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. (laughs) Okay, so tell me what you do. So yeah, I uh, will position everybody uh uh just a bit like south of that uh uh eastern door. Mm-hmm. And I will stand between the eastern and the northern door and I will swing the northern door open and and push the pair of legs in. As the as the door opens, um uh you get this pungent this you floppy get this legs pungent eco. almost acrid <laughs> scent permeating your nostrils from inside and you can hear the the chanting much more clearly and it sounds like maybe three or four male voices in there and um the chanting continues momentarily and then stops in a kind of confused silence <laughs> and right then i'm going to start reeling the uh uh legs back Okay. Bad night to drop acid, dude. Real bad night. Fuck you, Cam. <laughs> I saw legs, man. I just saw some legs. <laughs> they probably think they're chanting oh, some of this God. leg creature. Well, then they better follow okay, it out so into the, the hallway. The, uh, yes. the legs come out in, into the hallway, and following almost immediately behind it are four rather confused human um acolytes who seem very very disoriented after being interrupted they were clearly deep in their chant and prayer we take their lunch money they're still just bewildered by these uh by these legs um they haven't even they don't even (laughs) appear to have noticed you guys at all yet uh i will uh see if i can step up to one and put my uh dagger to his throat okay okay um I'm going to allow this before we go for after this, we're going to have to roll for initiative, mm-hmm. but um, you have, you have, no, no, okay, no, they no, are. no. They're, they're no, not interested you, in talking. Oh, okay. you're just going to, you're just going to try and um, I thought you were just going to go straight for him. 
I thought you were just gonna kill him. No, I was. I, I'm trying. I'm gonna go to go to intimidate and and try to try to just get a knife up to his throat and get him talking. I'm gonna try to get him to stand down. I think okay. uh, the other three just get ringed by the rest of us, like just like popping out of our positions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tony's probably taking up a lot of the hallway. So <laughs> okay, the um the four acolytes are entirely silent, and they just. They just okay, they just and... stare at you with hate filled eyes. They've taken okay. a vow of silence. At my oh, my chanting. well, we heard them chanting. Well, to us. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> who is it we were looking for again? Did we have a Melicent? Millicent. 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 Mad Max. And and I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at him and say Millicent. Where is she? The mayor's daughter. He just yeah. hisses at you and one. says. She belongs to the master now. Mm. I'm gonna headbutt him <laughs> and break his nose. Okay, now we're getting into now you're getting into uh role for initiative here. Storm time. I mean I'm happy to fight All him. All right. Okay, he just he just seems like he just still him. looks at you through his uh through uh, through his his bloodied nose and face. And then he just wipes the blood off his nose and sneers at you. And I'll say, okay, we can do it that way. And he reach, he reaches under his robe, and pulls out a mace. Ew! Oh. I am. And I'm gonna say, I think I have a new special friend, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll for initiative here. Do that. What I'm are assuming we? My wisdom? usual position of last. Wisdom. I finished a can in real life. I almost smashed Ooh. it on my forehead. Let's do this. Oh my god. Like did you actually try to no, smash it on your I forehead? I almost did. My hand like went for oh. it halfway. Okay. Oh wow. my D twenty is not in the zone tonight. What'd you get, babe? Uh that is gonna be a hot oh, what's this one? What's the modifier for this? Oh, it starts wisdom. with wisdom. How many of these bastards are yes. there? My initiative is seven. Four. Thank you. Oh, that's fun. We get to go out at the same time. Oh you're yeah, the other the other three, um, the other three acolytes grab their comrade and pull him to his feet, and they all draw their maces. Get on it! Cool. They're still surrounded by six professional murderers. <laughs> seven. Seven, seven yep. professional I mean, murderers. Seven. Dee Dee. Yep. What's Dee Dee's initiative? I believe I gave her a fifteen. So let's not forget. Okay. I will not forget Dee Dee, even though I just did, and I'm now writing her in again. So she is 15. And she's an NPC, so she's always going to be 15. Ooh. Exactly. Yeah. I know the feeling. So, okay. Uh, Slithers is up. Slithers is going to head for the one closest to him and use his scimitar on that nasty acolyte. Right. Oh, wow. Wow. That was a natural toy. Oh, very nice. nice. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, plus strength would be a 26. Okay. That doesn't slice well, the head we'll off. I don't know what does. will. Uh, probably nothing. So remember it's okay. 2d6. 2d6 2, 2D plus 6. That is a 12. Plus yeah, 6 is okay. 18. Nice. And then what happens on critical? Oh, that is, that is yeah. What happens with critical? Uh, yeah. What did you say you wanted to do? I want to I wanna take on the one closest to me and yep. hack well, him to pieces. Do that. <laughs> and his 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 robes below emptily to the floor like Obi Wan Kenobi. I don't know. <laughs> Damn! Now he's more powerful yeah, than we could still, possibly still, imagine. Good job, Slithers. That's what I was afraid so, of. So just you just picture that, and except when in Star Wars, where Obi Wan Kenobi's Ooh. robe just falls to the floor, except when it falls to the floor, it's also Ooh. just covered. It's also just covered with a mound of, of just sliced limbs and giblets. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, my scimitar like yes. was a blender. Uh, <laughs> we are now down to okay, we are nice. now down to three. That was very very impressive. That was an impressive start. Damn. That was uh, wow. That's yeah, the best there you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> after right. after that. Do do the do the three remaining seem any more inclined to start talking? <laughs> no, they seem um, they seem like they are 
just like super zealous, you know. Yeah. No cling clang of short that. swords okay. hitting the ground. None of that. No. Okay. No, they've got the they've got the light of uh, some like serious old time religion going on in there. Um, <laughs> Dude, I just quizzed you in the comrade. To me. <laughs> that will do it though. Uh, they just view they just view his failings as a weakness. Oh sure. He, clear, he clearly wasn't committed to yeah. the master. Oh, he never was. We hated that guy. You did us uh, a favor. Oh okay. I would kill that guy. Bless it. Man, yeah. cults are so like once you get what it is, like cults are just so it's just so easy. Oh, you just like let it ride, man. <laughs> okay. Deedee Dee is up. Dee Dee uh Dee Dee draws draws her bow and lets loose. <laughs> and that is an eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eighteen plus 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 eight is twenty-six. So that is totally going to hit. And that does <laughs> six damage. It strikes one of the Acolytes. Gargle is up. Gargle. All right, then. So, all right. Well, I'm going to try and nail one of these little bastards with the javelin. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a 19. Uh, is that hit? Javelin of Faith? Is that a... What is that? That is a, yeah. that is a spell? What's it, what's it going against? Yes. They're... A reflex. Reflex, I believe. The one, yeah, it, hits, quick. it does. It hits. Yeah, all right. Then they are going to feel the burn... Okay. Of ten points Are you of damage. Hitting the one that was hit by. Um, yes, yes. Uh, yes, Edie. So okay. <laughs> he is now very. He is now very bloodied. I he needs to be very dead. Okay. Bodie is up. Um, I would assume, just given their numbers and the way we're kind of arranged, that the the one standing in front of me that I've decided is going to be my new special <laughs> friend. Is also engaged with a with another member of my party. Um. Yes. Okay. Then. Uh. I am going to do and and I headbutted he's, him, yeah. so he's and he's only been, just bloodied. Oh, he's been hit a foe. few times by people, okay. so he's quite bloodied. Is he bloodied? Okay. Then I am going to do a deadly thrust, which is my dex plus my strength versus his fortitude. Oh. That's... Oof. That's a twenty-five yeah. to hit. Oh, and he yes, was my he special, was friend, special friend, which means that's a critical. Okay. Oh, but okay, bring on the damage. Jesus. Okay, so that's uh. R.I.P. in peace, buddy. So I double the dice, or double I double the roll. the roll. Okay, but after this, I'm also rolling a D8, so that's going to go. In oh no, roll no, too. no, 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 no! I just no, don't know no, the syntax. No, no, no. We're just straight up. Yeah, roll everything in. first, and then double it. Uh, this is you, uh, you don't even need to roll. The damage. <laughs> so that's uh thirty points. The damage. Of, of the damage, damage is done. Ow. And uh, your your special your special yeah. friend just uh, breathes his last. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, let me see now the. Uh, and that's the what I say. Remaining the two remaining acolytes. Hold on, I got a roll for morale here. <laughs> oh, wow, they're living up to their. <laughs> okay. I don't see why. <laughs> A couple of one hit KOs will really take the wind out they're, of your sails. They're living up to it. Okay, the um, first remaining acolyte lashes out at Bodhi with uh, his mace. Oof, that's going to be an ace. That's not going to hit, I assume. Nope, sorry. So nope. he misses you entirely. And the second acolyte also with his mace. Um, no, he also attacks you too. They're both they're both going for Bodhi. And that's gonna be a after that that's leg gonna be thing, a fifteen. I don't, I don't think that's gonna make contact either, is it? I like to uh no it does not. I like to imagine that in the background of each of these scenes there's just the, the zombie legs just kind of <laughs> flopping back and forth in the background the whole time. And <laughs> it's like in the back of every shot there's these legs. We're just gonna walking. just keep these legs, right? This is now the party's mascot. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, it's it's either Leaf it's or cool Cap or Karkel up next. Ladies first. Thank you. I did want to take my turn to. Do, I want to take seven seconds to say I don't mean cults are great. <laughs> what I mean is that, like, if you're already like, if you're giving up, if you're like, mm, fuck it, cult is like a good way to just let someone else do the thinking for you. 
because you point to someone and say, what they say is right. What we're doing is correct. All right. If you disagree with me, I guess that doesn't matter. Anyway, I would just like to say I don't. I don't endorse that statement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, I don't Wait. want anyone to give up. I'm trying to figure out if that's you Double or in down. character. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, the attack that I make with my kukri goes as follows: to my cookie. With your cookie. Damn, that's not going to be awesome. Oh, no, wait, that's a 15, not a 5. Hot damn. Okay, so a 15 plus, it's a 16 to hit. That hits. Excellent. And 2d6 plus strength is what I roll. I'm going to roll my quartz dice, and then can I borrow this metal one, please? Thank you. Really roll the the metal one. Quartz dice for extra charges. Uh, That's a a 9, all told. Short and sweet. Fandriel is going to weigh the odds. Zero surprise there, right, guys? <laughs> okay. The odds are in our I'm favor, talk. sir. Uh, let's see. So there, I'm going to just fire up a ray of frost then. It's an at-will spell, so I can cast it at will. Uh, that is an 18 against their... Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, but for future reference against their reflex... And that is a 3d6 damage. Ooh, and on an even roll to hit roll, which it was, they are stuck. And they have to make a save to get unstuck in the okay. ice or the frost. Is it just a regular save? Uh, eight points of damage on that. And it is a easy save okay. ends it. And it's the end of the turn. So that may as well be now. Uh, yes. He breaks out of it. Ha. Uh. Okay, so new initiative. initiative is your god damn it. It's uh, Dex these days, right? Dex, yes, it's Dex. Ooh, now there's a roll. 23. Damon, this is so great. I like when our uh initiatives buddy up because I am just dying to do one of the maneuvers where like somebody's crouched down behind the other guy's knees and the first one pushes him over. Oh yes. Like... Yes. I keep trying to do ah! that in campaigns and no one ever wants to do it. <laughs> I I would love to see that done. My man talk is up. Okay, I haven't used color spray in this battle now, so I have it. It's once per battle, so here comes my number of... Tar- There's two standing, right? Okay, and I can hit both of them. So here come the attack. One is bloodied, if that Plus makes a difference. Six. Oof, that is 11 versus their will. I'm not liking six that. Six to it. Ooh, uh, may, sorry, 12 because of uh, the escalation. Add six to it. These are, these are, if that are you matters. adding six to it? Yeah, I, I'm going to add six okay. to that, yeah, however, that, thanks to some command points, it. I'm assuming. It would have failed nice. without it. Okay. Because these are strong-willed dudes. So now I'm doing, <laughs> oof, nice, 11 mm. for the, each of them. Oh. Thank you for that assist with those command points. That is damn handy. glory dice. I, I get one of those, but I rolled a six this time, so I was like, this feels right. Nice. Pew, pew. This is all coming out of my wand, by the way. I don't know if I was clear on that. I'm like, I shoot these spells oh, yeah, out of my sure, wand. Sure, sure. So it's yeah. oh. That's not what I <laughs> Okay. <shoot>. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I will engage one of the gentlemen. Well, one of them, like... one of them is is near near death on the floor, and the other one is the other one is bloody. Oh, nope. No, he's not. Well, you know what? I I I will I will engage the gentleman who not Good choice. bloody. And I will go ahead and flying blade him. So I'll throw a dagger. That's a dex. Hey, roll with advantage. I just spent two command points for you to try again. Okay. So the first one's a twenty four. <laughs> um Good I guess change. I should make sure I don't crit. Crit, yeah. Which means I'll just go Ow. I do not crit. Okay, so uh, and that was my natural roll was a seventeen, so that's an odd. So I can't do my dirty, dirty damage. Um, so that's just thunder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one or I'm sorry, two d six plus six damage, twelve damage. All right. And the acolyte falls to his knees. And he looks up at you and he says, please, sir, no more. Please, kind sirs, no more. And he points to the door to the east 
and collapses to the floor. All right. Okay, both are collapses to the floor to the... Of, the, of the cavern. So these two acolytes are in massively bad shape. They are both, right. they're, they're both. Where's your master dead. now? I say we disengage because they're, they're not attacking us anymore. Are they like, are they? They're in no shape to attack. They called and they called for surrender, right? I, I say we honor and head east. Um, I want to look through the door. Oh, the okay. now. Sure. <laughs> tie them up. Uh, tie them up. Yeah. I'll tie them. Yeah, so be trails. Have the, have okay. The so you guys, the goblins are going to tie those two up. <laughs> yeah, we're going to tie them up. Okay. Don't, don't yes, eat yes. them. Okay. Mustn't trust. <laughs> Uh, okay, you it's a short 20, uh, blah, 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 like a short, it goes, the door opens into a short 20-foot corridor that empties into a 30-foot by 20-foot chamber. The center of the room is a plain metal brazier that lights, it's burning with a soft glow, and from it, a uh, rather pungent, acrid scent permeates your nostrils. Then on the floor, there are four hard pallets. And then there's a wooden table with four small matching stools, a cabinet for clothing, a water pail, a waste bucket, and a flagon of wine and four cups. But there doesn't appear to be anything okay. of, of value in the room. Anything of interest? I was, uh, do you want to, do you want to throw them and the, and the corpses in here quick? Yes. I think, uh, Many many hands make light work of stowing the bodies. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah and then we'll proceed to the east uh, with the with the I legs ask, leading the way. I would ask of them before we left. Uh, where did where did where were they taking the girl? I mean, I guess he pointed, but I would double check and ask like mm-hmm. where are they taking the girl? Um, yeah, just the, so acoly- the, the acolyte just looks away from you. I bite him, <laughs> not hard. <laughs> But I do bite him on the shoulder and then go on with the group. I think Bodhi or God, Lefandriel is thinking about the last last 30 minutes of his life where he was led to a room of people by a pair of legs. <laughs> and then we beat them half to death. <laughs> and the other half we killed. I gotta re- reevaluate some life choices here. This is I don't think this is the kind of life that I want. <laughs> you know, grave robbing. And Bodhi is just thrilled to be out taking his pet legs for a walk. <laughs> oh my god. Slithers is just the muscle, man. Slithers just <laughs> Okay, so are you are you <laughs> Hey guys, do you think I could teach these legs to ride a ride a surfboard? <laughs> like like when you teach uh-huh. a dog to ride a skateboard? You think hey, legs d- do hey, that? calm. What's we go through the door to the east? What's going on that way? <laughs> okay, so the the door to the east, <laughs> the door to the east um, opens in, immediately into a, a set of narrow stone steps descending downwards. And as you, I assume you head down the steps. Hell yeah! As you head down the steps, mm-hmm. if you refer to the map, you find yourselves in a um, fairly short east-west corridor um, that you can see it veers off to the south almost in front of you and then to the north and then continues on before veering off to the south again. And there are um, there are quite a few um, rats scurrying around your feet in this place. And this whole um, this whole area um, is very dimly lit by um, um, flickering torches on the wall. There are nowhere near as many as there were in the other cavern, and it seems like a it's much colder and damp, and a much more kind of foreboding and somber place than the other than the other uh, happy fun cave, I guess. Yeah, the, the <laughs> laugh a minute. Happy. <clears throat> the laugh a minute. But the rock I'm... here is different too. The rock here is much more. It's just. It's just just gray, dark gray granite with you know no. There's none of the, the red flowing through it. There's none of the kind of ambient kind of light glowing from it. It's just a damp, dreary cavern. I'm going to uh, hand the the leash to Leif and say, uh, "Hold on to legsy for me." <laughs> and I'm gonna go just peek around the Leaf first hates corner. Legsy. The first corner it being the one to the south. <laughs> to to the south, yeah. 
Um, okay. Um, you can see a winding passageway again lit with with torches that leads on away and then kind of disappears into darkness. You can't see much. Um, again, there are more kind of vermin. There's like two or three rats just scurrying around the floor. And you can just hear like the I'll dripping relay, of water from the ceiling. I'll relay that back to the party and then I'll go peek around the door to the north. Yeah. Okay. The door. Um, I was uh, I was wondering if Slithers with amazing uh, tracking expertise could uh, figure out like the path the path most traveled or something. Yeah, you 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 can you can you can again this seems quite well trodden all around. Hmm. There are no okay. there are no traces of Millicent if that's what you're if that's what you're asking. You don't see any obvious trace. Okay. Okay. That's all I want to know. Go ahead. And uh, Bodhi then you're looking up the tunnel to the north. Again, mm-hmm. um you see a short dark corridor um that looks like it turns off to the to the right to the east a bit um okay again it's it's lit by a couple of torches and you can hear um you can hear what sounds like um hammering further off to the north like a kind of a heavy hammering like metal against metal okay i'll uh uh relay that back and uh i will uh if oh, yeah. everybody's comfortable with it sneak up and peek around right. the last corner I think I can get back to you guys before mm-hmm. I get yeah. in too much trouble. Agreed. And yeah, I'll just bring them back to you if there's Absolutely. anybody okay. around the corner. Um, so okay, so you go to the end of the corridor and you look around, and once again you're looking down. Uh, the corridor goes down to the south, and it veers off. It looks like it turns a corner to the east, and then about halfway down this corridor that you're looking down, um, on the eastern wall, you can see a large door okay i will uh relay that back uh the door what is does it look at all um it is or... um you can see that it has a heavy bolt across it and mm-hmm. it is bolted shut from the outside it's bolted shut from the outside okay that sounds promising. okay uh i'll say i, I want to go check that out but let's let's do our due diligence and make sure it's not holding back a a wormling or something there is um as you <laughs> as you uh examine the door that it does have a a large um, relief of a of a skull carved into the door. Okay, mm-hmm. and it is bolted shut. Hmm. Uh, so I I would say we as a group should probably go peek at yeah. that first. I'm not saying we should open it, but we should peek at it a little bit closer. So yeah, I'll bring the group down there and I'll give the door a listen. You hear nothing. So I'm... the skull, like this is there's a skull shape on yeah. the door. It's on the door. Fuck it. Hmm. I was gonna. Uh, yep. Fine. So, like Man Talk <laughs> says about the skull. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then you're just knock. knocking on the door. Because I mean, my thought is that seems like a like I wouldn't put a skull on the door where I'm holding the uh, you know kidnapped prisoner. I would put it on you know where the bad skull creature right. is. That's just probably, me. If I was running, a probably dungeon. so. So yeah. if we wake it up, we'll hear it moving on the other side of the door, and we'll move on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what? You're banging on the door. Oh, I'm I believe Andriel said he did that. Yep. You just I knocked, knocked on, the door. on the door. Yep. Um, you hear nothing. There's just silence from the other. Then I'll just say, Millicent. Oh, that's a good thought. <laughs> there's, there's just, I mean, there's, there's, there's too much worth the... a shot. There's, there's just okay. silence from the other side. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'll say let's let's uh check some other things out. Agreed. So that's the only thing down this this hallway, or does, this, or does the hallway keep um, going? Or well, there are there are um you know there's just again there's there's rats um shuffling around your feet and there's um the flickering torches on the wall. The tunnel extends further to the south and then veers. I mean, we're here. Should we just keep checking out down this way? Or yeah, I what am... do you guys think? There's that sound to the north, but that didn't sound like. Hmm. Like you know that that sounded more like a, a a forge or something, not like prisoners being held. Yeah, you wouldn't think it would know? be like so handcuffs I don't know. against 
cars or it, something. It's, like I said, it sounded it sounded it sounded metal on metal, not yeah. yeah I don't that know. doesn't sound okay. promising either. I, I so as long as we're here, do we want to keep you heading have, south? You have two southern passages in, in this area. Oh, I think uh, south past the the skull door, right? Beyond yeah. the skull door, like without going through it. Not, Not through, through the skull, skull door. door, right? Okay, so you're continuing south and going around yeah. the east. Yeah. Okay, um, you continue walking southwards, and as um, you're walking down, you notice that um, um, more rats seem to scurry yeah. from behind you and run past you to the to the east. They're going going uphill. Um, no, it's the it's all level, but they're um, they're running okay. from behind you and past you and away okay. from you. Okay. Are, do they seem like they're freaked out like they're running from something or is it just kind of the morning commute? Do you want to give me a do you want to give me a wisdom check there? Yeah, I'd love to the do that. Real. I'm wise in the waves of animals, I'm sure. No, he's not. That's a pretty that's a pretty decent roll though. Uh that's going to be a 14 total. Not bad. Not bad at all. You notice as you um, you turn around and look northwards um, back from where you came from that there are rats running around the corner from the north and then just they're just ignoring you and they're they're hurrying past you and um, you notice How many that rats? Mm, like, like a dozen. Okay, not not like moving carpet, just. Like not a moving carpet, but you know, enough. Oh, that's a relief. I thought we were at moving carpet levels already. No, no, no. And then um the number of rats increases. We're getting there though. <laughs> <laughs> Soon there are like there's there's like dozens of rats just just running 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 past you. And you notice that f- further back down the corridor that um torches that you were sure were lit previously um are now extinguished wow i think something's yeah, coming it, our way well we might as well deal with it standing to deliver okay yeah or yeah don't you think yeah i mean we we i mean running away from it in a dungeon we don't know seems like mm, a, that's a surefire a way to run into a place good way go. to to yeah, yeah 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 get get in between a Let's rock turn and a hard tail. place i i would make my way to I, well, I think I'd already be kind of at the back because I think still canonically I'm still with Pony at this point. So yeah, I would I would about face. <laughs> Lefandriel lowers his glaive yeah, in like a, a fighting stance. Like okay, here we go. Well, as you all turn, as you all turn to face the north, your um the light you notice the light from your from your torches um seems to reflect in midair in the middle of the. In the middle of the corridor, what? And as you as you gaze harder at it, you notice that Shit. about twenty feet in front of you to the north, everything beyond it appears to be distorted. Okay, I'm going to cast a ray of frost at that spot as quickly as I can. I'm thinking gelatinous yeah, cube, maybe. Right? No fucking way. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Let's- Let's get a popsicle instead of a jello. So I'm going to see if I can freeze this puppy so you guys can smash it. Good. Oh, that would be a big relief if that's what that is. Can I fire that up, uh, Column, or do you need um, initiative? We are going to need initiative. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to let you get I'm going to let you get one off, and then we're rolling okay. for initiative. Sounds good. On. I'm just going to let we're going to let um, Lyman talk uh, cast his uh, ray of frost. Okay, that'll yeah, be a twenty-four. Okay, hit. let me just make sure here. Maybe he's gleaming the cube. I'm hoping this actually damages a gelatinous cube. I, I think it should. I think or that's at least you should the only freeze it so it's like it, right? shatterable. Yeah. Or hug. I don't think. Um, I don't know if the hug strategy actually. <laughs> I, I, I mean, we we should all be uh, <laughs> reaching for your monster manuals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have eleven points of frost damage for whatever that may do. Uh, and it is it is a even to hit roll, so it should be or it like if the cube doesn't resist in some way, it'll be frozen in place uh, until it can save and initiative. Oh. Yeah, what are we uh, rolling wisdom. for initiative? 
wisdom in the first round. Oh, it always okay. Ow. Yeah, my initiative rolls have gotten worse but, and yeah, worse and worse. I'm Nine. sorry. I thought I thought it was executive through you're the fro- session. You're, you're, oh no, I think it's per battle. Ray of Frost yeah. hits it and um, entirely encases it in ice, and you can indeed see that floor to ceiling. You are being approached by a gelatinous cube, was... and then the the ice just harmlessly shatters off it. Oh, and oh, falls to the floor. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, bit. guys. <laughs> Can't okay. tell yet and beyond that. Did it seem effective at all? I would like to see your um, initiatives rather than your very pictures of various gelatinous things. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got I've Oh shit. I'm in the wrong chat again. Oh, I'm still I can in still the get mess. it from Sorry. there though. If you rolled a twelve, okay. I, was, I rolled a I got yours, yeah. I, I got yours. Oh, jelly. Okay, okay. <laughs> good. Gargle is nine and I'm still waiting on like fixed. Uh, no, I rolled in there uh, here a nine. Here a nine. D-D. Now we're now we're suddenly super yeah. slow. No, yeah. Always wanted to fight a gelatinous cube. That's why no, I you put don't. one in. You're about to regret He's, it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will yeah, tell you yeah. right now. The only reason the, this gelatinous cube is here no is good. Jenny asked for one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jenny! I, oh. Fired. Hey, at least I didn't. At least I didn't decide to like last. No, I tell. I legs. tell a lie. I tell a lie. There is <laughs> that work. There is really a gelatinous well. cube in in this cave as written. So you were it just Hi. just turned those, out to be fortunate. All right. That, those those legs were to our advantage. Well, you still have those legs, don't you? Yes, I know. I do. I have the legs still. And, and he knows <laughs> how to use them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I want to see that ZZ Top video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, who is it? Doing their own Halloween so cover. ZZ Top. Lefandriel is up. <laughs> yeah, weirdly. Um, well, I'm going to... Okay. I, uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you on the most effective way of introducing a gelatinous cube. That was terrifying. Um, that was pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, was yeah, it did. It, yeah. That was like, oh shit, we are in. This is bad. It was a little Lovecraftian, which it was very nice. Yeah. Um. So, and then along with that, I'm What's gonna. Uh, I would like a little more clarification on the on on Lies ice attack. Did it seem like the... it did nothing? It had no effect whatsoever. No effect whatsoever. It, like lit it up with ice, and then the ice oh, shattered fuck. off of it. it okay. Like it. Um. Turn it. I feel like I'm gonna excuse this for myself because, like, we're a guild. We do adventuring stuff. So, like, knowing that gelatinous mm-hmm. cube is a thing, I feel like is okay for Leaf to know. And I feel like, along with that, he knows that we should not get into it. So, do I get it? Do I get a sense of how quickly it's moving? Very slowly. Very slowly. Like if we if we continued at a pretty normal pace, could we pretty much disengage from it to where it just won't be a going concern? You could if you uh, if you hurried, you could easily keep ahead of it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just... I'm. I want to um, check. The... Yeah, that's the tricky part. Right. Is that now? Think... What are our What are our options for away from cube right now? Um, you are currently at the bottom of the corridor uh, that veers off to another corridor to the east. So you're standing at the intersection of that corridor you just came through, facing northwards. There's another corridor leading away from you to the east, which then turns to the south. And then about five feet in front of that cube is the door with the skull on it. Okay. Mm, right. So what we could do is wait until the cube is right up to the edge of the door with the skull on it, throw the bolt open, and then go down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> and let the cube and whatever behind that door sort themselves out. That's getting pretty close to the cube to pull that trick. Yeah. Well, we, we, could know. Just, we could just go through <laughs> a door like... and close it behind us. <laughs> well, if we can find a door. Well, the, there's the barred skull door. Yeah, exactly. we're not going through that one and closing it behind mm. us. Maybe we should, though. 
Uh, I I quickly jog down and look down uh, uh, that I go down the eastern hall and look, okay. look to you the south. You find a large plain chamber that's about 40 feet by 40 feet filled with neat piles of crates, boxes, and barrels and um, bulging sacks propped up against one wall. Hmm. So we could definitely do a rope-a-dope around uh, uh, the cube if we got it in here. But then I'll cube up all the good stuff that we could steal. Well, we could take Unless two I turns to steal all here. the stuff. And then rope and uh, By the time you get there. Um, are, any of those ba- are any of those sacks filled with gunpowder that we could blow the <laughs> hell out of the cube? <laughs> you know? Is there anything labeled cube poison? <laughs> no, there, are, there is not. Hmm. Okay, uh, but no, I would, I would wave everybody this direction. Okay, I'll go. I'll follow. Okay, and as you, uh, sure. as you, uh, as you do that, the um, you can hear the the cube um, slowly um, sucking its way along the uh, walls and ceilings and floor of the cave, and uh, the last few rats flee by you. Oh, do we see like is there like a little like is there like a little like kind of like mustache of dead rats floating right at oh. the bottom where it's probably like four a couple up? Dust ruffle. Yes. Yes. Uh. It's filled it's filled with decomposing rats and some human skeletons and some uh, some rusted weaponry and armor. Yeah. So do we want to just let it get in here and circle around it and try to get out the backside to, to where we know yeah. there's an exit? I really love us? that idea. And that's okay. what's even following are us. there any other exits? Just just real. Are, are there any other exits? Um, out of this room? Are you in the storeroom now? Um, yes. There are not. There are just there I are just so. um, tiny like rat sized holes that the rats have all bled through down at the base of the walls. Okay. Then yeah, I, I think we'll just wait for the cube and try to try to circle around it. Yeah, we uh, we would spend a, the, we would spend the few seconds uh I had um decoupling the pony and the wheelbarrow so we can get as narrow a profile as possible all that good business cuz I know it's going to be a tight fit, but <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, uh you um I probably put Legsy up. I give Legsy a oh, uh, piggyback oh, ride for this portion. Guys, to the cube. Guys, can you think <laughs> like when we get out of this mess, surprise. the pictures, the spring, the post, the Christmas postcards we're gonna take of Legsy riding on Arkle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's creepy, there, Jenny. Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> I love it. Oh Jesus! Okay, Is that some you hear the the sickening s- suction yep. sound of the of the cube, and it um, slowly fills the doorway of the storage room, and then it slowly oozes into the room, and you know sucks its way towards you. We've got your rolls, we've got your initiatives already, so I don't know what you want to do here. Uh, Dodge it. Yeah, just uh, run around it, back out the door. Yeah, I'm gonna, as I wander by, I'm gonna try uh, shooting a color spray at it. I'm kind of like, I've got kind of a scientific interest in if things will hurt. Maybe once, side. like everyone's, maybe once the party is in the hallway, you kind of wheel around. Sorry to suggest, but not clear. I I have something I want to try as I go past. Okay, well let um let my man talk. Um, no, well Bodie, you've got a twelve, okay. so technically you can do your thing first. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to do a tumbling strike. And on a tumbling strike, I can take two move actions along with the attack. One before and one immediately after. The foe can't strike you back during this attack. Um, And so, yeah, I'm going to go past him. And as I'm at very close range, I'm just going to flick one of my uh, daggers. Okay, is that going to be... Just as I keep moving by. Is that going to be a ranged attack or uh, an actual close combat attack? It'll be okay. it'll be arranged. So D twenty plus your from from Yep. D twenty yep. plus your decks. That's fine. Sort of a point break shot. <laughs> that's eighteen Ouch. to hit. See, I don't even know though. Oh, yeah. Like I'm so uh, in the weeds. And... I mean that's, 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 Yeah, roll yeah. roll your damage. Broads out of the barn. Not bad. Okay. Eleven. You're... And then as I go by, I go. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> Via con Dios. Okay. So um, <laughs> as you're tumbling by, you plunge your dagger into the gelatinous cube and you just hold it there as you continue tumbling and it just cuts a massive slice through the cube Ew. and a good quarter sized chunk of it sluices off to the <laughs> floor and as it hits the floor it just becomes this kind of gray ash uh, mm. and then the uh the cube starts to tremble and then it kind of attempts to refill in piece you cut you oh it's off. scared but you know as you know you know as, as it as it refills itself that it diminishes in size hmm. okay oh i should give it so one of my thunder shirts it didn't it didn't, didn't throw the removed piece back it just refilled it with gotcha what it had available mm-hmm. So you did some damage. Gotcha. It's slashing can okay. kill it. Okay. Yeah, after a few minutes. Okay. Well, yeah, so now I'm on the other side of it, uh, uh, back in the hallway it had come okay. down. Or in the doorway it had come through, okay. I should say. And it begins to um, slowly change its course of direction and move back towards you guys. Yeah, we're all making our way into yeah. the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Do okay. I have that right? Okay, so you're it. in the hallway. Um, you are in the hallway of the storage chamber. Why did you? Uh, did you? Call it for me? Yeah, oh, yeah, I was going to color spray this thing. Yeah, as I back and, into the hallway, and then we'll close the door. Twenty-three. <laughs> it doesn't have eyes. That's a good point. Okay. It's not like a blinding attack. It's a uh, each color does like different magical shit. I think. So you you're painting it, yeah. so we can see it. Eight. Yeah. So a twenty-three. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually detail what color spray is in the mm-hmm. rule book. It's just yeah, a color spray. So, <laughs> color spray. so, uh, so eight damage. I'm going. I'm going to allow it because I don't know what color spray is. In there, so huh. I will allow it. Has anybody seen the like? I've seen a bunch of uh, Japanese videos where they're doing like cu- culinary arts with like a cube of Jello, and they're taking a needle full of just pigment. And they're like stabbing it in over and over and doing like these really elaborate blossoms in three D. That's what I'm thinking of when I see the gelatinous cube. <laughs> That's great. Nice. So, okay. So, well, the the um the color spray does hit it, and again, more more uh, more jello sluices off it, and, uh, turns ash gray mm-hmm. to the floor. But it it continues moving so towards you. Hurts it? Yeah, we've decided that color spray okay. does it. I mean, is our plan? Um, to... We don't know what it is. Okay. Is our plan okay. just to keep running away from it? Well, can we close the door? Oh, there is there is no door to this. Room. Oh yeah, good. Oh. There is no door. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe build one. <laughs> um, I mean, at least this way we can we can fight a a a falling back battle to where we know there's an exit. Yeah. So we can we can keep hitting it and falling back as if you guys want yeah, to do that. Yeah, I don't mind taking pot shots at this thing okay. as long as we're backing up to where to where we know we can we can yeah. get out if we need to. Okay, well then, uh, who have we got? Um, uh, Lefandriel is technically up. If you wanted to do something, yeah, I'm. I'm more just. A, I'm thinking if we have anything better than just plan is to. Well, I. I guess I'm. I'm just not sure what we're. What. What our goal should be here, because it seems like we can hurt this thing, and that makes Lefandriel want to just make it dead. So that way we don't have to run from it. Yeah. And I was trying to understand w- the way that you were describing the effect of Bodhi's attack on it. It seemed like it sliced off a bit and then like it was diminished overall after yeah. that slicing. Correct. Because mm-hmm. it, it refilled itself, but it had that. less volume. It didn't. I'm, I was trying to convey that it did not just regenerate it. Yeah. Yes. It, so I'm it used th- itself yep. to yep. reform itself into a cube cube. I'm very visually thinking of it as its own hit points, basically. It, yeah. Because it gets mm-hmm. literally like you can see how much it has left to give of itself. Uh yeah. That being the case, then I think that the thing that Lefandriel would like to do. Well, are we in a so are we're in combat? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're kind of like we're walking, we're walking. You're in you're in walking. running, you're in running combat. Okay, so I think at this point maybe I'm just gonna weigh my options. It's 
kind of my favorite thing to do. It gives me a lot of toothpicks that I can use to make <laughs> really cool shit happen. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to spend this turn assessing the situation. Okay. Slithers, are you going to spend this turn assessing your situation? If you if you do a smack on it, I can give you some toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Slithers is going to spend this turn. Uh, he's already out in the hallway escaping, but he's going to turn around and throw one of his fabulous little throwing stars at it. Nice. So that's going to be your D20 plus Dex. Plus Dex, okay. And that is a 17 plus Dex is 5 is D2. All right, let's do a little damage here. That's uh, 2D6 Um, plus your Dex. Okay, so that would be 9. All right. Nicely done. And then uh, DD is up. What's the ooh? Very nice. Okay, <laughs> Dee Dee is going to. Uh, what is she doing? What does what does my damage do? Does oh yeah, it slices it a good chunk off. As always. Okay. Sorry, more more gray more gray sluicing. And now the mm. now the now the okay. cube is basically um kind of it's no bigger than a goblin at this point. And you know all of the uh, the oh. bones and weapons are just kind of sticking out of it and. All of the the rats and stuff are just kind of hanging out of it and oozing out. <laughs> We're making good making progress. Very good progress. Uh, Dee Dee is uh, gonna do split the difference. So uh, she draws, she strings up two arrows to her bow, and uh, oh, you are fucking kidding me! <laughs> okay, and both of them just uh, fly harmlessly around either side of the cube. She just misses disastrously. First cube, Dee Dee. Uh, First cube, Dee Dee. Uh, Garga. Now, <laughs> as someone as someone who's done a lot of archery, that's what happens when you shoot two yeah. arrows at once. <laughs> <laughs> I know that from lots and lots it's of experience. It's very hard to do. <laughs> just stick with one. One is hard enough. It's a hard skill. Gargle is up. Well, I'm not getting close to it, but I will attempt to javelize it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to guess javelin. Uh, javelin of 17. Faith is like a piercing magic, right? Oh, that it hits. Yeah. Okay. Eight points. The uh, gelatinous cube just collapses into gray dust. Aww. All right. I was pretty nervous about that for some reason. I don't know. I, I think I... Uh... Yeah. yeah. I, f- if, I feel like if we've been caught in the corridor without an exit and had the thing actually roll over of us, roll over us that would have been, been very. It would have been uh, 3d6 acid damage. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and then... Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. It's, and then you would have been engulfed, in which case you would have taken immediately 10 points of damage plus 3d6 of acid damage on Fuck. So yeah, so pretty bad. That actually reminds me, and um, you have to do. Do we have to do like a uh, equivalent of a short rest to do a recovery dice? Because like I'm a little low, but I can just say that I'm rolling one, right? Um, uh, yes. Need- oh, if I did, oh, I I could have given you one right there in combat. Okay, thank you. Take one. Yeah, you can you can take a breather. Okay. That's- but I, but I can also, it's one of my abilities, like, oh, here, by the way, yeah, have, a, sure. have a recovery. Okay. Thank uh, you. On my turn. So go ahead. Yeah. Um, oh. Is there anything interesting in the uh, uh, stuff that the uh, uh, cube it's dropped? It's all, I mean, I all, know it all heavily acid corroded damage, by but... acid. No, there's, there's, there okay. doesn't appear to be anything. Nothing super magical no. that's resistant. Okay. Um, so you can you can take any of you at this point if you want and roll your recovery die if you want to. It's up to you. It's up to you. We've talked about this. Ex- I am in ex. I have okay. not been hit. Me neither. We've talked about this extensively in Jury our other noted, yeah. group, but <laughs> are, does this group go by the house rules that you re-roll ones and twos on healing die? I don't. I'm um, wait, has not been brought up. Have... Yes, I will say yes. So I'd be fine. Okay. That has never been brought up here. That's, that's clearly a yeah. We, it's it's kind of one of those things that we seem to like always kind of like re not relitigate, but just like 
revisit every time in our other group but i'm like so i know i know it's that group over there but i can't remember if it's been addressed you guys i'm mm-hmm. kind of guest starring on this one i feel like so many okay, okay. now nice. i have to do oh. math mm-hmm. yeah i know how to do math yeah yeah i know how to do math i assume you're in the the east west corridor at the bottom of the north south corridor and uh, the north-south corridor is the one with the door with the skull on it. Is it worth seeing if that storage room had anything worth looting that didn't get uh, fouled by the cube? I mean, it's probably just your basic supplies, I'm guessing. But I had that exact same thought. Uh, like the cards save you the trip. Crates and boxes are full of mundane items and dry stuff. The sacks are full of ground. I love meal. mundane Okay, items. thank you. Cool. All right, so... We still have the question of the yeah, skull door. Left. I'm still all for leaving the skull door until, unless Just we've exhausted alone, all right? other answers here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm on board I'm with that. Kind of team leave it alone, weirdly. Slither says you're all wussies. Oh, that's kind of true, <laughs> so, though. N- north. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> north, north towards the clanging or, or the other south? I think other south would be my vote. Okay. Other south. I'm just one lizard. I'm just one we're lizard. Down, yeah, person. we're down here. Yeah, we'll check out other south. Okay. Um. So okay, you head down the the passageway to the south. It's kind of a rough hewn, uh, basically natural cave cavern as as opposed to carved out like some of the others you've been through. And um, there's almost there are no torches on the walls here, and it kind of it kind of slopes gently downwards not much headroom as you go down then as you reach the bottom you come to a iron door and um it appears to be locked and barred and then it has a small window set in the door hmm. i look through the window through the window you can see a 20 foot by 20 foot what appears to be a cell that's very gloomy, thick, stale air. And you can see um, several skeletons hanging by chains to the walls with their bony arms outstretched to the ceiling. And um, there's like a, a large chest lying on the floor. And then there also appears to be a single living occupant chained to the back wall. Her head is covered by a grimy burlap sap sack. Grimy burl a grimy burlap sack. Now say it backwards, uh, please. Uh, and um, you can tell that um, it's a, a female. Um, this is written by Gary Gygax in 1979, so this is not me. She's scantily clad in of torn course. robes. Her Thanks shapely her leg, back. her shapely legs, and pale arms exposed. I'm going to say, Millicent! Hey, Millicent! Does she move her head or anything? There's a, a, a moment of um, stunned disbelief, and then you see the burlap sack move upwards, and um, she responds, Who is it? Who is it? I'm going to say, It's, it's Bodhi! Uh, Legsy, <laughs> let us here! We're going to get you out! Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Please, please, hurry, hurry. Just, There's not much time. Stay, stay, All right, let's stay unbar quiet. The door. We'll, we'll work on it. Um, I mean, the door's so, barred from this side, right? We can unbar it. Well, it's locked it as locked. well, correct? Oh, is it? We have lock picks. Hmm. Um, Ooh, nice. Are you good I with lock picks? sure would be. Is I've it, rolled is expertise it? on it before. Okay. okay. All right, yeah. I want to take a crack at it. We can have Smithers take a whack at it if your crack uh, at it doesn't okay. work. True. Okay, it's a very important slither smash. I gotta, I really gotta roll a dice that I'm feeling the juju with tonight, and so, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm feeling that one. Okay, could have been better. Uh, oh, but I do add my expertise. A D four, yeah. And I add my wisdom, right? Or my intelligence? Uh, um, it would be um. Uh... Dexterity. Dexterity. Yes, for lockpicks. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So we got fifteen. Okay. Oh my God. D four is pointy. Okay. Whoa. I couldn't see any of them because the triangles are all pointing upward. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. 
Uh, that's a three. Okay, so uh, 18. The, the pick is unsuccessful. Oh, tough lock. All right. Thank you, well, everyone, um, for letting me try. Was a good you know, try. I'm, I'm dexterous as well. May, may I borrow those? And yeah, give I, but I throw them to the ground, and then I go pet Just, Arkle. Do you, have a, do you have an expertise on okay. this at all? I don't have an expertise, okay. but I have a high dex. Do you have, a, do you have, an, expert, do you have an open expertise slot? I do not. I took uh, I, I took acrobatics and bullshitting. All right, so okay, let's go with your decks. And I'm just gonna look over at Leaf expectantly. Eighteen. It is a tough lock. Slither <laughs> smash. Yeah, Slither's can smash it. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a shot. And uh, so while Slither's lines up to do that, because I expect this is gonna be a bit louder, I'm gonna kind of uh, set myself up to to look out uh, yeah, back up the hall. I think that. Um, what am I rolling on? Since I'm smashing, is that against my strength? Uh, gargle, gargle. Uh, uh, yeah. Gargle. Uh, maybe one of the uh, maybe one of the acolytes that we saw has keys. Maybe we should go check the robes in their pockets. And the two that are alive, maybe we should try to shake them down. Hmm. You hear Millicent from the other side say, "Osseus, the filthy, is the only one with the keys." Osseus. They probably they behind call him, a door. They call him Master Osseus or Lord Osseus the Filthy. He's the one who locked me here. That sounds dangerous. Yawn, what an edge lord. Um, How was that to smash the door roll? No, nah, it sucked. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. entirely smashing. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so there's, no. so there's, you know, you know what? He's if, the muscle uh, of the crew. I mean, if we're all having a go at it, I'll, I'll throw a shoulder in. Maybe, maybe Slither's <laughs> uh, loosened it. Yeah, is there an aid? In this game, I don't think we're gonna bust. Uh, I got the store, a sixteen. Guys. No, it's not gonna do it. Yep. Nope. Okay. Got a zap spell? Cool. It's um, a. It's just a. It's just a, a heavily reinforced to door. door. Um, Colm, would you please give me a spelling on the bad guy's name? Obviously, not in character. Um, O S O S S E U S. O S S E U. Thank you. Osseus. So, do we want to go shake the acolytes down for Osseus's? Whereabouts? Hey, I probably sure bet he's behind the skull door. Or he could be the one making that banging oh. up to the north. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You I mean, usually don't lock been... the keykeeper, the gatekeeper mm-hmm. behind a door. Right. I'm getting um the uh, I'm saying cred by the minute, but the the baddie, the big monster from Star Wars that he has to fight in the pit that. Starlack pit. No, 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 no. not the Star. The one that's fighting, like the nope. gladiator style one that comes up. Rancor. Uh, rancor. Yeah. I'm getting rancor. a rancor, rancor. vibe off of Yeah, off the of door. The scary door. Yeah. So like let's let's go clanging. Let's go to the north, I say. Well, I mean, is there any reason not to go shake down the acolytes that we got tied up? I, I think we are not gonna have a key. Or but I they're, guess they could point us toward Osseus. Exactly. I, and they're right around the corner over here. Yeah. Where's Osseus? on the way, essentially. I was hoping yeah. we'd have a way to get her out without confronting the master. <laughs> well, I if you if you have an idea, uh, no, I no, uh, I smashing and picking seemed like our best yeah, bets. Our and best those bet. both failed. We're all a little short. Do you have a? Uh, you could try yeah. another pick. Lie. Do you have um? Do you have got, any kind of big exploding magic? The biggest damage doer I have is acid arrow. I can do forty ten of acid damage. And can I guess you do I that can directly into the lock. Well, the drawback is if it just screws up the lock, <laughs> then we can't oh, even God. open it with the key. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I could, I could, tr- I, I don't know. I feel. Ca- Can you try? So the door swing swings out, right? Yeah. Try, oh, try, but... try aciding one of the hinges. All I right. really, uh, I really, I okay. really don't think is... force is going to do this door. I mean, it's a, it's okay. a, we, it's a heavy, need... heavy door. Okay. All right. We need a key or a, or a successful lock picking. So. And it seems to have defied our best efforts at that. Well, I mean, I mean, our generous DM said he'd give us one I more swing at the lockpick. I'll allow you one Slithers more swing at the lockpick. Lock All right, uh, I've got a Dex plus five, uh, but no specialties. Uh, remember, everyone, we had handy little Slithers. adjectives next to our our uh, ability scores. Huh? Uh, I minor filled in. I've got stealthy and arcane, yeah. which this is not. one of the rules of the game is that you're not supposed to say that my deck's better than bigger, better than bigger. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, here uh, I'm here to police. I'm here to police. 
It was also Slither, written exactly <laughs> like that. Slither said that they were thinking about adding a, a different expertise, right? Yep. I have I have a I have an open slot if that's what you mm. if that's what you mean. Mm. Well don't All right. am I picking with my reasonably good dexterity yeah. of an un, un Give it a named whirl. number. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Fly stealthy, right? Great. Uh, no. Cool. Yeah. Osseus nope. it is then. God damn it. <laughs> Bye, Millie. Yeah. We'll see you in a bit. Bye, <laughs> she cries to you as you're leaving. She's like, wait, wait, come back. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me. We'll be back. We will what save you. What else could we do? Maybe. All right. So what are you doing? You're heading, uh, I guess we'll head north. All right. It's uh, closing in on 930 oh, in real yeah. life. Uh, Maybe we should put a pause and I assume in uh, getting right, a stealing key point. from the master won't be a quick yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can run and grab him real Is quick. That... Can we just grab him? Can we just say that we yeah. can we fast play it that we go and we grab him real quick? 